In this video, we're going to talk about the intro to alpha substitution of, of carbonyl compounds. Okay, so when I look at the molecule of acetone, okay, it has three hydrogens on any of the adjacent carbons. Okay, now, <coughs> I'm sorry about that. So it sort of, it so turns out that the carbon adjacent to the carbonyl compound have these hydrogens that are relatively acidic okay and the general form is that we take you know these compounds and we add it in some sort of base okay so we add it in some sort of base okay and the base deprotonates base deprotonates form a double bond and kick off on the oxygen okay and so we come to the enolate form where we have an oxygen that's negatively charged we have the double bond here and again we have the two hydrogens because we lost one so this is the enolate form okay this is the enolate form of the compound and the idea is that we take the enolate form okay so this is the enolate form we take the enolate form and, and add it to some rx where X is some sort of good leaving group, yeah, and the 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 uh, and the, the the negative charge on the oxygen will come and form a double bond, and the double bond will come. These pi electrons will actually be uh, nucleophilic, attack the R group and displaces the X. Okay, and so we get something to look like this. Okay, so this is a general reaction scheme of these compounds here. Now. What are the type of base we use? We use strong non-nucleophilic base. Okay, and we're gonna talk about a couple, but the one that's more common is this one here. Okay. This one is called uh this one is called it has two one pairs on nitrogen. This one is called LDA. Yeah. And it, it and it has it has lithium. Um in it so this is lithium uh lithium di isopropyl lithium di isopropyl uh amide okay so this is called lda more commonly called lda and it's a strong non-nucleophilic base so here's the idea if i take any carbonyl compound these are my alpha car this is this is my alpha carbon it's it's adjacent to the carbon to the, to the carbonyl okay if i take this and i add lda what it will actually do is generate a negative charge on the carbon okay it will generate a negative charge on the carbon adjacent to it okay it'll generate a negative charge on the carbon adjacent to it okay and again this is in equilibrium with its enolate form the oxygen having a negative charge these pi electrons and we have the hydrogens here okay now i'm i messed up on the structure of lda it has a lithium plus charge okay it has a lithium plus charge but it also has a, a nitrogen that's negatively charged so let me correct that structure so that is a correct structure of lda okay so what if we treat acetone with lda okay we're going to generate the negative charge okay we're gonna generate the negative charge and then we could treat it with some sort of alkyl halide Prime, we could treat it with SN, SN2 target so this is just now gonna attack and displace the bromine and we come to form the structure that looks like this we have the phenyl, phenyl, uh, phenyl group okay, this is now bonded to a carbon that has the ketone group in this okay so this is a structure that we will form Okay, so a strong non-nucleophilic base. All it does is deprotonate one of those hydrogens to give you that negative charge. Okay. So again, pretty pretty simple. So again, what if we took uh, this compound here? Yeah, and we added LDA. Okay. Now the thing with this is that you got to know where your alpha carbons are. Where's your alpha carbon? Well, it's adjacent to your carbonyl. In this case, the only alpha carbon that we have would be this. Adjacent to the carbonyl can be this. We don't have any the protons. We don't have any acidic protons on this. 
here's our alpha proton here's the alpha carbon and so when we add a strong non-nucleophilic base such as LDA we generate a negative charge on the alpha pro on the alpha carbon okay and we just simply treat that with an SN2 target so if we treat this with um, ethyl bromide I will just attack and displace my bromine and so in this case I'll form a molecule that looks something like this carbonyl this carbon now has a methyl group and it's going to be bonded to a carbon that has this okay so in this case this is a structure that we formed okay so again in non-nucleophilic base we attack and we deprotonate uh we know non-nucleophilic base we deprotonate and we just attack a primary sn2 target now what about this one yeah if i take this and add lda where's my alpha carbon well notice that i have technically two alpha carbons but only one is is in uh, is correct for 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 the chemistry that we need okay and remember this the terminal alpha carbon hydrogen the terminal al uh, hydrogens will always be more acidic than internal hydrogen so therefore when i add lda i'll actually get the deprotonation at the terminal end and so i'll generate a negative charge at the terminal end so just remember that that's very important to remember because uh, putting the negative charge here would not work that that's wrong okay and so now if i take this molecule here and treat it with something like this yeah what would i get yeah what would i get well remember we need sn2 target and so in fact this is now a strong base we need sn2 target now this is a secondary car uh, carbon okay so one could imagine okay well that's going to give us sn2 chemistry but in fact this is going to eliminate so i attack the hydrogen i form a double bond and displace the bromine and so in this case we get e2 chemistry so now i arrive at a structure that looks something like this okay so this is the product now is this what we want no okay and some of you might be saying to yourself well what is going on well that's SN2 chemistry. No, we have a benzylic carbon here. Okay, we have a ben because we have a benzylic carbon. This this is they're not strong enough to to go right in there and attack that benzylic carbon. So it's actually going to eliminate. So be very careful. We need SN2 targets when we talk about these types of chemistry.